your pants to look like this or this or this. I'm going to show you how to hem them so they look like this. The first thing you want to do is make sure you put on the pair of shoes that you are going to be wearing with those pants most often. It does make a difference in how high you hem them uh, between your bare feet and wearing shoes. Next, you're going to cuff your pants. You're going to cuff them to the inside though, not like you're rolling them so that they look cute on the outside. But so you have an idea of how long they're going to be when you sew them and have the final hem in there. And you want them to be pretty flat on the inside. Um, make sure they're a length you like. Not too long, not too short. And then you're going to take your straight pins and pin them in place. You only need to pin one pant leg. So I'm going to put one pin in the front and then one pin in the back to hold it in place. You're going to use measuring tape to make sure that both pant legs are even. Uh, eyeballing it while you're wearing them it doesn't work as well. They end up being a little uh, lopsided if you try to pin both sides this way while you're still in them. Next, you're going to change into a different pair of pants because you cannot hem them while you're wearing them. Now that we have our pants that are pinned to the right length, we're going to take our measuring tape and we're going to measure the inseam. You're going to go right to the two, where the two legs join and then measure down your inseam. And this is 24 and a half inches long and we're going to mark it with chalk. You can either use dressmaker's chalk, you can use a very light colored pencil, you can use normal chalk. Next, you're going to measure uh, the outer seam of your pant leg as well. That way you have more measurements. Uh, the more measurements you have, the more accurate and matched your two pant legs will be. So you're gonna measure that down. For me, it is exactly 33 inches. And I'm just gonna chalk that mark as well. So we have our two chalk marks on our inseam and our outer seam. And we're going to take our pins out and unfold our pant leg. And if we cut it right here, you're going to be way too short and it's not going to fit you right. So you're going to take your measuring tape again and you're going to measure an inch below your chalk line and you're going to mark it with your dressmaker's chalk on both sides. And this gives you the material that you're going to be able to fold over and under. Uh, that way your hem and your pants measure to where you wanted them originally. Now that you have your first leg marked off, you are now going to measure your second leg. So I'm looking for 24 and a half inches. So starting again at the inseam, we're gonna measure all the way down to 24 and a half inches. And we're just going to chalk that. And then we're going to chalk again at 25 and a half inches as well. And pulling on the bottoms, I can see that they're even. Both of their chalk marks are level, so we measured both sides correctly, which is perfect. And now we're going to measure our outer seam. And we're looking for 33 inches. So we're at 33, we're gonna mark 33, and then we're gonna mark, that's all I wanna see, and mark 34 inches as well. And now for the scary part, we are going to be cutting. You can either trace the line with your measuring tape between your two marks, uh, which I'm gonna do just to be safe. And make sure you are lining up the second marks, not on a diagonal, because otherwise your pants are gonna be very long, wonky looking. So we're just going to measure, connect the dots, straight line. That way I don't have to worry about, am I cutting a straight line? I am following a straight line. And same thing on the other side. Yep. 
So you are going to just snip. I actually don't trust that second measurement because that is clearly a diagonal. So we're going to re-measure that 33. And chalk just rubs pretty much right off your pants. Fold it the other way as well, just to make sure the numbers are saying they're correct. It just makes me a little nervous. So you fold your pants in half, um, and it's always good to double check your measurements if you're not totally sure. And those do line up on this side and this side, so we are good to go for cutting the side. It just looks a little weird. All right, now that you've cut the bottom of your pants off, you're gonna measure from where you cut up an inch and just do a little dotted line on both sides. Then there's your dotted line and you're gonna fold under and you're gonna place your pins all the way around. So you are pinned. Now you're gonna take your iron and just iron that crease right in. Make sure that whatever you're ironing on will not melt as you iron. And then you're gonna do the same on the other side. And now that we have our nice sharp crease, that one's a little you're going to unpin it and fold so that this edge meets your nice sharp crease and then fold a second time. And that's how you have a nice finished edge, no loose ends that are going to start fraying on you. And you want the Depending on how you sew, you're gonna place your pin. If you're gonna sew where this side is facing up, you want the pin on the inside. I sew where that side is facing down. So we're gonna place the pin on the outside. That's a personal preference. I like to sew, it's also it's just easier to sew that way. So you're just gonna keep making sure you fold to the crease and then fold again and place your pin. And you're going to do that all the way around and again on the other side. Now that both halves are pinned, you are going to iron it again. You want a sharp crease. Uh, it makes it nicer. It's a much nicer finishing. And it's just much more professional looking. So you're just going to press down, iron it, flip it. Same thing on the other side. And we have our nice sharp creases. So it is time to sew. Now that everything is pinned, we're gonna sew. Most sewing machines have an attachment that you can just pull right off. That makes it much easier 
to hem your pants, so you're gonna be able to slip your pants right on to here, rather than trying to stretch it around and move it around a much larger surface area. Before you start sewing, make sure everything is set up correctly. Make sure you have a straight stitch going and a smaller stitch length, uh, either two or I like to have it on a one. That way you have small tight stitches up, especially because your pants get a lot of wear, you wanna make sure that it is well hemmed and well sewn together. If you want to have a pair of leggings, it is possible as well. Most sewing machines will have a setting for a zigzag stitch and that is the setting you're gonna to wanna to use for that. You're gonna follow the same steps of pinning it, measuring it, uh, but as you're sewing, you're want, going to want to stretch it. It takes a lot of practice to get good at hemming leggings just because it's a different material and it moves weird. Uh, but it is totally and completely possible to do that as well. I like to start from the inseam that way where the two stitches are going to overlap after you start and finish is hidden on the inside and less noticeable. And you're going to line up your pant leg just shy rather than at the halfway mark because you know you folded it half an inch you want to make sure you catch the actual hem itself and not just straight through your pant leg so you want it to be at the three the three eighths marks mark and almost all new machines will have these lines and will be marked they might not necessarily have the numbers but they will be marked and normally the three eighths is the closest one the half inch, five eighths. So we're just gonna line up this. It's on the three eighths line and you're gonna make sure that your fabric stays along that guideline. That way your hem is even all the way around. And it is now time to start sewing. And you're just going to push down your pressure, presser foot and sew all the way around. You don't have to back stitch because you're gonna lock it over by just overlapping and make sure you pin out the, pull out the pins as you go. And make sure you sew at a speed that is comfortable for you. If you are not as comfortable sewing or you're new to it, go at a slower speed. If you're comfortable, you can go faster. Once you've hemmed all the way around, you are going to check the inside, make sure you caught the whole thing. And this looks great. So we are going to go on to hemming the other pant leg. Now that both sides have been hemmed, it is time to try them on. All right, so we have tried on our pants. They are the correct length that we wanted them all the way around. They are looking good. And now every pair of pants is the correct length for you because you can hem them yourself. Support public libraries. Like, share, and subscribe for more great videos.